Lovely. Are we good to kick off? Sweet. Cool. It's uh, with <laughs> great pleasure it. that I welcome, he's going to zoom in, Mr. Daniel Radcliffe. Here he comes. Hello, hello, hello. Faster I did part than... of my own clapping. Though. Yes. <laughs> Self-promo is important. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, now, I had the pleasure of seeing a little film called Escape from Pretoria the other day. Great. Uh, one of the most tense films I've ever watched. Oh, in a good way. In a good Great. way. Thank I very you. much enjoyed it. Uh, for those who are unfamiliar, what the heck is this film? Right, so this is the uh, the true story of three uh, political prisoners in South Africa in the 1970s, and they um, came up with this, well, one of them particularly, uh, Tim Jenkin, the man I play, was just a bit of a genius who worked out that he could uh, make copies of all the keys that the guards had and then reconstruct them out of wood that he stole from the workshop. Um, so essentially they escaped from prison by making keys to every door in the prison and and uh, eventually just sort of walking out one day. Mm. Um, it was, it, you know, there were more hurdles than that, otherwise we wouldn't have a film. But it was, um, no, it's a really incredible true story um, um, and and also they, they they were political prisoners as well, so it's very much like the kind of people that you can get behind escaping Definitely. from prison. Nice people. Than, it's not like oh they're murderers and now they're getting out. Maybe they shouldn't. Yes. But they're, yeah, they're, they're they're good people who kind of did, yeah did this escaped in the most uh, incredibly simple way, but that as a consequence of its simplicity was incredibly complicated to do. Yes, definitely. You've earned yourself a lovely can of water for oh, that. Oh, thank you very much. Beautiful explanation. Yeah, watering cans. Now. I know. Watering cans. Yeah. It's the future. Now, some people may have missed this, um, but did I detect the slightest hint of an accent in this film, oh, Mr. Yes. Daniel Radcliffe? Very much so, yes. So I'm uh, I'm South African in this film. He's mm -hmm. um, he's English South African, so he's not like full on Afrikaans. Like it's not. Oh, a, interesting. Yeah, it's not. He's not from the sort of the Dutch boar descent. Mm -hmm. uh, he's of of uh, Anglican extraction um and uh, so yeah so it was slightly closer to uh, my own but still yeah it was a, it was quite a long way away and it was it was we also filmed the the movie in australia so that was my concern was like because they're not similar accents but they are similar enough on certain vowels that you can get dragged from south african to australian if you're not careful and you're just listening to the other one too much mm. um so yeah so there was a lot of there was a lot of that and luckily we had our we had a fantastic um accent coach on set called jenny who was uh yeah there for all of us with our various accent needs because almost nobody in this film is speaking with their own accent actually it's pretty much really? all accents across the board yeah wow yeah god trying to do a south african accent while surrounded by Australians yes. is such a challenge. It really was. Um, well, I think you did a great job. Oh, so well, thank you. you also had what I assume is a wig. Yes. And a beard. Yes. Uh, the beard was real. Um, Good beard. Wig was, well wig was fake. Yes. Uh, thank you very much. And yes, you had I'm glasses at the moment, and it really, really annoyed. Do you miss the beard? Yeah. I just without a beard, I just look like a really tired child. And there's no way of justifying uh, justifying with with a beard. You go like, oh, there's a tired adult. That's fine. <laughs> tired uh, man. <laughs> yeah, it's a tired man. It's okay. Uh, we we nicknamed my wig Jackson after um, Bradley Cooper's character in uh, a Star Is Born. Nice. Um, but I, which I hadn't seen it literally at the time, but um, it was one of the reference photos uh, right. that the, the uh, our makeup artist used to like show me what the wig might look like on. And I was right. like, well, yeah, great. I mean, if I look like Bradley Cooper when you put it on me, there then you go. I'm fantastic. This is not a problem. Um, and actually, yeah, it was. I, I was sort of quite resistant to the wig at first, and then we put it on. And I was like, oh, it's actually very seventies and very. Mm. Tim, and my 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 own hair does not do that naturally if it grows longer. So sure, it, it was a good way to go. Now, a lot of the key scenes in this film are key scenes. Very good. Yeah, I don't I have a question that. about that. I just wanted to say <laughs> no, that, and I, that is very good. And we can just move on <laughs> promptly. <laughs> If you like keys, this you is like, a good man, film. If you like keys, oh my god, have we made made a film for you? Keys upon keys with this film. Huge. We are tackling the locksmith demographic. Yes, as very well, one much. Of our main so. niches. Yeah. You're you're unlocking that demographic. The, aside from the film, this is just something I'm interested in. You're not on social media at all. No. What's that like? That must be lovely. It's really good. It must um, be so that's nice. The thing. Everyone, there was a period like at first when I wasn't on it, when everyone was like, you're not on social media? What are you doing with your life? And then there was a period when it was like, yeah, how do you not be on social media? And now it's like, you're not on social media. You're so lucky you're not on social media. Yeah. I mean, I do think I... There are certain things I love about it, and I, I have a great relationship with Twitter now because, like, my girlfriend's on it, so I can spy on it over her shoulder, or, like, she can show me an interesting thing, and that's great. Nice. Mainly, like, dog videos or cool magic tricks. Like, that's what I think the internet is best for. Mm -hmm. And um, and then, 
yeah, I just, it's not out of any sense of like, oh, I'm too good for this. It's actually particularly not with, with Twitter. It's quite the opposite. It's that I know that if I was on Twitter, I would be the worst version of myself on Twitter. I would, As we all are. I suppose, <laughs> but yeah, I would just be so reactive and mm. so, and, and everything would make me angry. Do you know what TikTok is? I do know what TikTok is. Have yes. you ever made a TikTok? I've never made a TikTok. I, you know, I, I, I don't need TikTok. I sing and mime to we things all, all the time. <laughs> I don't need other people to see me doing that. I enjoy it perfectly well on my own, and I That's know fair. I'm fantastic at it. That's fair. That's <laughs> a confidence I wish, <laughs> yeah. wish we all had. Do you think? Because obviously, when you were sort of coming up as a young star, you didn't have any of that social bubble around you. Do you think that the new sort of I, up and comers, I look at, like the kids on Stranger Things, and I go, yeah. oh my god, I don't know how I would, because they've all got, as far as I can tell, like quite big social media presences and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, yeah, I think I would have gone really, really crazy and, and they're doing, doing very well not to, but also it's, it's something they have all grown up with. It I would suppose, probably yeah. feel weird to them to not have it. Mm. Whereas for me, suddenly like I would have still been in the phase of getting it and understanding it. And yeah, I, yeah, I definitely think, definitely we were very lucky to do Potter just before all that stuff really. Broke. Yeah. Speak of it, well, you brought it up, so I guess I'll have to ask about it. I've got one question, I promise. It's just, as a man recently, uh, Tom Felton, I'm not, must be up and comer, I've not heard of him. He had a little reunion with some other actors. Oh, yeah. And actually, next year, as I'm sure you know, 2021 is the 20 year anniversary of a little movie called Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Is, yeah. Could we be seeing a, a school reunion? Um, I don't know. It's a, it's a, you know, I won't rule it out. Um, but That's, yeah, Daniel Radcliffe confirms reunion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's a weird thing. I've become like a horrible yardstick for how old everyone is. <laughs> I turned thirty this year, and when I tell people that now, they just look so sad. Oh, no. um, some, some fate will conspire to make it happen. Um, but yeah, I mean, I genuinely, we haven't like. I've, I was texting Tom recently. Actually, we were swapping stupid dog videos. Um, Beautiful. And again, well, I've mentioned that twice in an interview. Yeah. That that's my main passion. Please keep mentioning <laughs> it. It's great. Um, uh, Dan Radcliffe, here to promote dog videos. Yeah. Escape from Pretoria. When can people see this movie? The sixth of March. That's fantastic. Uh, and I would suggest that everyone go and see that film because it's great, but also so tense. Yeah, yeah, a good. You know, it has a sort of the political aspect to it, but it is at its heart, it is just a very, very tense prison break movie. That's great. Daniel Radcliffe, thank you so much. Thank you.